Hey friends, in this video I am sharing some sweet country rustic, kind of shabby chic Easter crab DIYs using some things from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, my stash, Dollar Tree, all of the fun places I like to shop. Guys, my name is Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's go ahead and get started and let me share how I created these fun Easter DIYs. First up is this Happy Easter Bunny Shell Sitter. Okay, I'm using one of these little signs that I got from the Dollar Tree. And uh, then to emboss my paper, what I used is my cuddle bug and a cuddle bug folder. And uh, what I did, you know, the cuddle bug is just um, a handheld crank machine that you can emboss uh, different papers and, uh, you know, different things like that. I used it a lot when I was doing cards and you know scrapbooking and that kind of thing but i uh, i can't find those embossed tiles at the dollar tree and so i thought oh well i'm going to use my cuddle bug to add you know some embossing to my paper and uh, so it worked out great it gave me a great embossed look for my paper all right so then um now what i'm doing is just tracing out uh, the paper and I eyeballed it almost perfect because you know when I cut it I didn't measure it and I was like oh that'll work and uh, so anyway it's just uh, you know amazing how we can kind of eyeball things you know once we get you kind of used to doing things all right since this has embossing on it I didn't want to use the Mod Podge heat transfer method because I didn't want it to uh, you know flatten it out uh, and so I'm just using my Fabri-Tac glue just to glue that down there in the front and and uh, I got a little ahead of myself. I wanted to paint the sides pink and uh, I'm using the cactus pink color from Americana. And so then I said, well, I need to go ahead and paint that. So that's what I did. I then added a piece of uh, pink and white uh, buffalo check paper to the back to finish it off. All right, I'm sharing this with you. I was so happy to find this set from Hobby Lobby. It's a neutral color uh, ink, and y'all know if you've watched my videos for a while, you knew that I, you know that I like to distress and uh, ink around my project. And uh, so now what I'm doing is I am um, going to be um, uh, creating my face for my bunny. And so what I do is I just use some coral color paint and I just put some cheeks on I use a stencil brush and um, you know I have said I like the more rectangle shape so I just take that stencil brush and just add some uh, rectangle cheeks then I'll just use my marker just to draw some eyes and create the little eyes for my bunny and I like the more almond shape that kind of um, touch at the top everyone does their eyes a little bit different but I'm just kind of sharing my style of what I like to do for my little faces and then I'll use a thin um, brush just to make some eyelashes as well as some eyebrows and then just continue to doodle it up by adding some you know character to the face with some lines and then doodling everything up with my black sharpie marker I also do some paint splattering and again uh, just quickly to paint splatter what I do is I like to uh, use a stiff brush and a stick and I run the stick over the brush one time toward my body and then that projects the paint onto whatever I'm trying to do and uh, I never go um, back you know like away from my body because then the paint would go on me and so I just I've been getting some questions on that so I just wanted to clarify for anyone who likes paint splattering and wanted to uh, perfect it a little bit more.
for my whiskers, I decided to do some uh, uh, gray whiskers. So I'm just using some of this wire that I had on hand. And I think I got that a long time ago from the Dollar Tree. And uh, what I'm using here to curl it is my curling tool that a sweet friend and follower, y'all have been seeing me use this uh, in lots of my videos. Miss Jan Blackwell sent those to me and I'm so appreciative. I don't expect it, but it's great appreciate it when y'all send me a uh, sweet happy mail that you know makes my life a lot easier anyway I do have a link for um, you know where you can find those a look in the description box below and I love them they're like four different sizes and so depending on how tight I want my curls will depend on how tight uh, you know, or which rod I'm going to use. All right. So what I did is I just drilled, uh, just used my electric drill and just drilled a hole where I, um, you know, like where the nose is going to go. And then I stuck all of those wires in there. And then I have a 20 M, uh, size half wood bead that I also painted in that cactus flower pink and uh, so then that is what is going to I'm going to glue everything down right there and um, you know the black would have shown up a little bit more but in person the gray gives me those gray whispers that uh, whiskers that I like and uh, so then I just drew a little mouth with my ultra fine sharpie marker now for the ears I've decided I want this bunny to be a little simple and um, not get over you know with the you know making the ears and stuff so I'm just using some white floral wire just you know bent them in the ear shape and then I just took my electric drill and drill two holes there at the top and then um, to give myself a little more time um, you know because hot glue dries so fast I use my Fabri-Tac glue and that you know put it in that hole and then I just bent my wire you know in the sh ear shape that I want and then I just stuck them in there and that Fabri-Tac glue gave me you know the time that I needed to uh, you know get the size and the shape of the ear that I wanted. For the bow, I'm just pulling out just different things that I like to use, just some different uh, size ribbon. I have some fabric, I have some trims, some pom-poms, and, uh, you know, just different ribbons that I like. So I just uh, crisscross them like in an X pattern and just layer them uh, the widest to the skinniest. Um, that's usually how I do it. And then I just secure everything with a pipe cleaner. For the center of the bow, I'm going to make a small felt flower and I'm just going to share here real quick how I make my felt flowers. I just cut off a, um, a square of the felt and then I fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then I just take my scissors and round off the corners and uh, so that I have kind of like a you know somewhat of a circle or whatever and then I just start somewhere and then depending on how wide I or how tall I want my flower will depend on how big I am going to cut my spiral and so I'm moving my felt versus my scissors and uh, so then I get a spiral and uh, so then where that point is that's where I'm going to start and so I just put some glue on there and then I just start rolling the flower on top of each other and then I'm just kind of pushing it and scrunching it together and uh, you know giving it a dot of hot glue as I go along until I get the flower shape that I want 
And um, so honestly, this flower was, I should have cut my spiral a little bit thinner because once I was making my flower, it was a little bit too tall. So once I finish, um, or I got the size of the flower that I wanted because I only wanted a little small flower there for my little Benny. And uh, so then what I did is once I got it all done, then I ended up cutting um, like it in half and I uh, hope that makes sense you know like in half the the width of it or the tallness um, the height of it and uh, so then that gave me you know it's a little bit more um, closer you know I don't want I didn't want it to stick out so far so that's why I cut it down a bit I'm starting with this truck that I've got, you know, several years ago from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I just took off. It came with like a metal leaf on there. And then uh, this is the paper I'm going to use to be covering it. It came from Hobby Lobby. And I just traced that out, cut it out, uh, you know, to match the uh, front of the truck. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint around the edges of the truck. I'm going to do black for the tires. And then I just go around around the truck just with some uh, pink color uh, this is an Americana paint cactus flower is the name of the paint that I'm going to use uh, just so that if you know my paint get I mean my paper gets off just a bit uh, you know I have that those ends painted all right so I'm going to use the hot uh, Mod Podge heat transfer method and how I do that is just take some Mod Podge and um, I pay special attention to go around the edges and then once it dries then I'm going to use some uh, I'm just going to use my iron and some parchment paper just for like protection. And then I just, you know, heat transfer that paper on to uh, this truck. Now I'm going to paint on the back glass as well as the bumper and I'm using the color slate gray. It's an Americana brand as well. And I'm just kind of, you know, sharing, you know, just the brands that I like to use and the colors that I like to use. And so um, I, I think this took like two coats and um, I just, you know, painted that on just kind of free handing that, not really drawing it out, but just kind of figuring out where all of that goes. And then what I'll do is I'll just take my uh, paintbrush, my flat brush, and do some shading around the edges just to give it some definition. And I like to shade by using a half inch flat paintbrush and um, some clean water. And I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water. And then I blend on the paper towel and go around my edges like that. And so then um, for the tires, what I do is I do the same thing with white and just shade around. And then I'm going to use my fan brush, just a few bristles of my fan brush, just to give it some treads of the tires. And that's what I've been doing for several years. And I just like it. You know, it just really makes those little tires pop. And so then just to give it a little shimmer to my back glass, what I'm going to use is this shimmering uh, silver paint that I get from Hobby Lobby. It's in the, you know, acrylic paint section. And so then what I do is I give, you know, just different parts, just kind of highlighting it just to give it a reflection in my glass and as well as uh, my bumper. So then once all the paint is dry, what I'll do is I'll just take my liner brush and just give it some character uh, with just some white lines. And then I will doodle everything up with my fine Sharpie marker.
for my tailgate, what I'm going to use is one of these wood slats that you can get in a pack uh, in, you know, wherever they're sold. And also some baby pink Americana color paint. I'm also using four tumbling tower blocks just to give it some height. And I painted my wood, all of the wood, uh, with two coats of the baby pink. And then I'm going to go in uh, with white acrylic paint just to, you know, give it the uh, background so that I can do my lettering I will add um, a border uh, around it with some of that white paint I will also on the sign I will just add some stripes with uh, some of that slate gray paint just to give it some you know character and definition and cuteness of what I like to do for my projects then I'm going to hand letter it using a uh, black like paint pen this is a Posca pen it's the largest one and uh, I get that um, from Amazon that's where I find them they're in my Amazon store and uh uh, then I shade everything either with the uh, white or the slight gray paint and uh, for my lettering I do like uh, to put happy dots on my lettering and uh, I have found a free font uh, from defont.com I will link to that as well if anyone is interested in downloading that font and uh, practicing and that kind of thing and I appreciate you loving my happy dots as much as I do. I'm going to add some black paint splatters and I do that just using a stiff brush and a stick and I just uh, pull the stick across the bristles one time toward my body so that the paint projects on to my project and then uh, I went back and added just some highlights uh, just using some of the white paint just to you know give it just a, a little bit of highlight now when I use the Posca pens they do tend to smear so this is the sealer that I like to use uh, for sealing those signs now I'm going to add some of these small wooden eggs I painted up uh, five of those in just this pink white and uh, that slate gray color and then these are the uh, paints that I'm using just to decorate I was just kind of going with a little color uh, scheme here and so I just did like zigzags and dots and stripes and just all kind of cute stuff just to make them look cuter and then those are what I'm going to stick in to my tailgate so um, what I'm doing to prepare my tailgate is I just have some um, floral foam that I just cut down and then I glue those jingle blocks just to give it you know some height and then that's what I'm going to uh, glue onto the back of the truck and then the styrofoam that is what I stick into you know my flowers and my eggs are going to stick into I also um, added some fine excelsior which I like to do these are the florals that I'm using they either came from Hobby Lobby Walmart or Dollar Tree and so there you can see I have the fine excelsior stuck in there it gives a whimsical look and so then I just kind of went through here and just as I added the flowers I just kind of showed you as I built it them uh, or built them rather um, and you know I just really love these little teal turquoise mini roses that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and then everything just is just tying so well together I'm just so happy with it 
Now for the eggs, what I did is I have these skinny wooden sticks. And so um, instead of painting them, I'm just using some washi tape and some gray and then some pink. I just wrap some washi tape around them just to give it a little character. And um, then I cut them down a bit so that they would, you know, like they would fit the height that I wanted in my truck. And so then, um, you know, it just ties everything together. And I just love this sweet little spring happy Easter truck. For the tail lights, what I'm using are two um, 20M split balls that I get from uh, Amazon. And so I'm trying a new um, method or how to paint my split balls. I saw my friend Alyssa from Southern Crafts Corner do this. I thought it was genius. And so I just put a dot of hot glue on there and then I'm just painting around them. It worked beautifully. Thank you, Alyssa, for showing how you do and paint your split beads. Uh, anyway, I love the way that this truck turned out now guys I have a dilemma and uh, I've asked um, for y'all's help um, there at the bottom where the tire was I need something cute to say there so let me give me your suggestions in the comments let me know what you would put there and uh, yeah because I want something cute I've got some suggestions already but I wanted to ask my community to give me some more of what you would put there anyways I love the way that this turned out and I hope Hope that you do too. For this project, I'm making a happy Easter egg door hanger using one of those eggs from the Dollar Tree. Uh, now this has some glitter on it, so I'll be sanding that off. I'm also using all of the paper that I'm using today is from this paper stack that I got from Michaels um, a few years ago, but there are friends that still have it. They told me they still had it. All right, so what I did is I sanded off the majority of the glitter and then I wiped it off, you know, as best I could. And so then now I'm just kind of cutting uh, these papers down so that I can tear them. I'm gonna tear the edges and I, I did tear both edges, not thinking, hey girl, you, why are you even wasting your time? Because one of them was going to be covered up. So um, I just, you know, wanted a torn edge and I only really needed to tear one of the edges. So I'm going to start laying them out the way that I kind of want them on my egg. And uh, then I said, oh, I want to uh, distress the edges. So I pull out my vintage photo distressing ink and I distress the edges, uh, you know, to give it a uh, rustic touch to it. And so I just use that with my little finger dauber and my little vintage photo uh, ink and just do that. Yeah, if you've been following me for any length of time, you have seen me do this already. Now, I do want to share um, uh, one of my mess ups that I did. Um, I'm just going to attach the paper with some double sided tape. This is my uh, adhesive tape glider that it just has you know, adhesive tape and I've had it for many years. I got it from Michaels. Um, I do have it in my Amazon store, but as you can see here, I'm working at an angle, you know, not working upside down, you know, not upside down, um, right side up, like right in front of me. And so when I put my paper on, guess what? My paper was sideways, silly girl. And so I ended up, um, you know, pulling all of that off and then kind of having to start over once I realized that my paper was going crooked. And so, um, once I realized that you need to put your egg in front of you so that you can see and make it straight. So I'm just sharing if, if you uh, do a project like this that you don't make my mistake.
for the hanger for my egg, I'm going to use some beads from this garland that I picked up after the fall season from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be using five of those beads. I love the color of them already. I don't have to do anything to them. And then I just make a loop and going to tie that off so that, uh, you know, it kind of stays. And then that loop is what I will uh, hang on my hanger. And then I'm going to just cut off some of it. And then um, let me know your tips of how do you get the jute through your beads. I mean, is there a trick um, that I haven't seen yet? Because I usually use just scotch tape, but you know, sometimes if the jute is thinner, I can just slide it through there with no problem. But I really struggle with getting uh, jute through the, the uh, you know, little holes of the um, beads or the balls, you know, and anyway, so then I just tied it off in a knot about three or four times so that it would, you know, be secure. All right. So then now I'm going to make a messy bow for this. And I love this, uh, jute ribbon that I got I don't know what it's called I guess it's ribbon uh from Hobby Lobby in the spring section and so guys I just cut off just you know different uh strips of burlap and I have just different uh, laces and trims and all of that fun stuff just pulled out colors from this egg and just you know layering them all then I'm gonna gather all of that together um I also have just some extra strings from burlap that were kind of like hanging out and I'm like you know what I love that it just makes my messy messy bow a little bit messier and uh, so I just gather it all together I secure everything with a pipe cleaner and then I use my needle nose pliers to get a really good you know tight um you know tightness to the back and then I just attached it to you know glued it on to the corner of my egg and uh, I love the way that this is turning out I hope you do too I also added some fine excelsior uh, into the middle of the bow just to add a bit more whimsy. And then I had made one of these felt flowers. It's like a peachy, pinky kind of tint. Uh, and I just put that there in the middle and I just think it looks really pretty. All right, now I'm going to make just a small sign. I'm just going to hand letter with my fine Sharpie marker. Happy Easter. I put my happy dots on there. I also so, uh, you know, give it the torn edges just to give it the jagged edge. I'm going to use that same vintage photo distress ink and, you know, just kind of roughen it up a little bit just the way that I like. And then I'll attach it to my sign just using some pop dots or foam dots, photo dots, whatever you call them. Uh, I just glued those on the back just to give it a little bit of height. So I glued the smaller sign on there and thought that, oh, okay, this project is complete. So when I was doing the pictures and, um, you know, setting it up for my video, I'm like, oh gosh, girl, that is too small. <laughs> so I went back and um, I took that small sign off. I did a little bit larger one. I just hand lettered Happy Easter. I'm going to do the same technique as far as uh, doodling around and adding some vintage photo distressing ink. I will crinkle it up to give it that aged look and uh, then I, I will attach uh, it to the front of my sign with some of those foam dots just to give it some height and I love this sign a little bit better so it just really you know I really I don't really know what I was thinking but once I put it on there and was taking my pictures for the video I'm like oh no that little sign that little sign is too little so that's why I went back and um, made um, another sign 
for the egg and also I had just put little commas or just little white highlight in each of the happy dots which I forgot to do on the little small one so I'm glad that I redid it and I hope that you do too Hey friends, if you like little crafts like this, please follow or subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for being here and a, a blessed part of my community. All right, y'all have a great day. God bless.